A check in once again with Wade 31 meteorologist Rob Elvington. Big change from this time Absolutely. yesterday. Absolutely. Those winds hopefully yeah. kick down. Yeah, you know, we've got a little bit of a breeze here for your Thursday afternoon, but nothing like what we were seeing yesterday. And one of those spots that saw one of the highest wind gusts measured at one of the airports was Decatur. Decatur picked up a gust of 55 yesterday. That was actually ahead of the main storm line. So it was those gradient winds that brought a lot of that damage throughout North Alabama. So quite a bit of overcast right now over downtown Decatur. That, of course, is our Decatur radar, part of the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. And we're now up to 50, but it's going to take a little time to start clearing out some of these low clouds. When out of the west at about 15 miles per hour. Could see a few higher gusts here through the rest of today. We'll see if we can make it up to the low 60s today. It looks like best chances of hitting 60 will be for areas closer to the shoals where we are starting to see a little bit of blue sky breaking through these low clouds. We'll also see some of those winds again from out of the west uh, all the way through this afternoon. Some gusts up to around 20 miles per hour, but again, nothing like what we saw yesterday. And then sticking around through the overnight hours and into your Friday morning. So there's a look at the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. We are driving right now, but again, once you reach the shoals and then closer to the Mississippi state line, that's where we're seeing quite a bit of sunshine breaking through. And if we put this into animation over the last hour, you can see that clearing quickly racing in from out of the west. So yeah, we're socked in right now, but we should see some sunshine even for places like Huntsville and Decatur again later today. Look at all the storm reports if you go back over the last 24 hours. We've got hail reports, we've got wind damage reports, tornado reports, of course, and you'll notice even some fire reports, some of the wildfires that developed with those gusty winds yesterday. But if we take all that off and just leave the tornado reports, you'll notice once you reach our area, that's where you see that quick drop off in the tornado reports, and that's because we just did not have enough instability in place yesterday. So once some of these storms started to approach us, they started to weaken because of the lack of fuel to keep those going. There's look at some of the shear tracks. If you go back from yesterday evening, you'll notice some of these cells moving it from out of the southwest. Those were those big tornadoes that we are tracking closer to in south of Birmingham. You'll notice right here you get the Tuscaloosa one that brought some damage to closer to Tuscaloosa. And then right here, those were those big ones that were moving in just south of Birmingham. And of course, we had quite a bit of tornado reports closer to Mobile as well. So save from some tornadoes, but still waiting to hear back from what the damage came from in Lauderdale County with that church. Future radar, this is 4 o'clock here this afternoon. Again, some sunshine breaking through those low clouds. We do have a weak system that's going to clip us here this evening. You'll notice some sprinkles to light showers, but most of that falls apart. And then we are back to sunshine as we kick off April. You'll notice sunny skies for your Friday morning and into your Friday afternoon. Still cooler than normal for this time of the year, but at least we're back to sunny skies. And then into your Saturday, unfortunately starting off with some cloud cover and even a chance for a few more sprinkles and light showers, but most areas should stay dry. And you'll look at uh, in the next three days, this light green you see on the map. It's basically a trace. So again, not expecting much rain all the way through your Saturday. But look at the next seven days. Look at the map. This color right here, that orange red color, that's closer to three to four inches of rainfall. And then as you head further north, still closer to two to two and a half inches. And that's with that next system coming in by Tuesday morning and a Tuesday afternoon. At this point, it looks like more of a flood threat, heavy rain threat than a severe threat. It looks like all that rain before sunrise on Tuesday should limit the storm threat by Tuesday evening and into Wednesday morning. Something we'll just have to watch closely through the next seven days. There's a look at that seven day forecast again. Low 60s through your Friday back up to 70 for your Saturday. Just a 10% chance for rain and then a little bit cooler into your Sunday, but we're back to sunshine to wrap up the weekend. And there you go on Tuesday, a 70% chance of rain. That's our next big storm threat here in North Alabama. Back to you. All right, thank you.